Hello YouTube, this is Buddy Fox, and I'm playing Hearts Fire and Four Kaiserich mod, and I'll be playing as Greece. Let's see what we can do with Greece, and uh, let's start. We have national spirit, German-owned industry. Deal with political power cost plus 0 0.15, and consumer good factor is 10%. Because of the war, reparations and debts. Austrian-owned industry, same. Uh, we have memories of the king stability minus 10 percent while the greek monarchy was officially abolished in 1931 still a lot of people respect the king and wants the monarchy restored legacy alexander recruitable population factor 10 percent division defense and core territory 10 percent and reinforce rate 5 percent i will start with the uh, research better rifles and uh, what go industry Space tools and engineering. The Fourth Hellenic Republic. The years since Greece was in the Veltric have seen little but upheaval and hardship. The loss of Macedonia to the Treaty of Salonica and crippling war debts to Austrian Germany sent King Alexander fleeing into exile as the Third Republic was declared. Only to result in years of failed governments and coups until Gorgias continued to control in 1926 and declare himself the permanent regent of Greece. And uh, prepare for war. Game base board support 20%. Now uh, let's unpause the game. Uh, the challenges ahead. The new republic which faces its next election in 1938 faces several challenges before then. Most prominent is the Simmering resentment towards the lost Greek territory, most are certain that war is coming again soon, with many groups such as the syndicalist rebels and the looming figure of Ioannan and his Metekas waiting for the first moment to government make the slightest mishap. We shall not repeat past mistakes. Kerensky has been killed. Uh, let's go with military factory. That was good south. Uh, let's send those division north and we don't have any planes. Uh, let's see, volunteer only. Period. Through Vranko takes control of Russia, the body pattern rules supreme. Uh, export oriented economy and civilian economy. Government. Gorgas Papandreou. Daily political power gain. Resource gain efficiency. Foreign minister. Power. Political gain minus and planning speed. Economy minister, political power gain, construction speed. A minister of interior, political power and construction speed. Okay, let's go with uh, cavalry units. Okay, General Napoleon Zervas. Well, got all the name. Hill fighter, commando, harsh leader, infantry leader, promotion cost. Let's go with him. Highest skill. And do you have any cavalry leader? Uh, more wars. Mountaineer. In general, max army size plus six infantry officer. Mountaineer, let's go with Mountaineer. Black Monday, my god. Alexander's Papa Goa, organizer, okay. And uh, garrison duty. Ok, 
Okay, what's the resume? How is production looking? Uh, improve submarine. Why are we making submarine? Ocean Empire withdraws from Italy, good news, and uh, how many convoys do we have? 40. Uh, two factory plus production infantry equipment, artillery one, and sport equipment uh, build ships. That would be more, build more convoys. Can you train more divisions now? And Black Monday hit Greece. Yeah, a lot of bad stuff. Uh, stability minus 10, construction speed, production efficiency, factory output, political power. Monarchist sympathies in Greece will be increased. Minus 170 political power. Black Monday. Let's try to stabilize the country. Farming crisis. This isn't good. Peace stability minus three percent. Okay, now we can go with uh, a farming crisis. Uh, well, let's go with that. Recovering from Black Monday. We need to recover from uh, that uh, economic disaster. 3000 manpower, so we can't train any more divisions. Ready the masses. Battle for Macedonia. Fortify Salonica. New expansion is in. Well, for the first time playing as Greece, uh, kick down these rebel houses. Union is March. And I'm looking where I can find more recruitable population. That is the Navy. That is the Air Force, and this is uh, uh, Doctrines. Okay, research. Plus 4%. Let's go with construction. Like 40 days less. Mm, party popularity 34%, stability 7, war support 41. Independence Day, a new spirit should be born again. 20 political power. New Pope. Uh, Okay, farming crisis, responding to the crisis, help them out as much as we can, dig deep their backbone of the Greece. Oh, 
let's see 200 minus political power foreign owned industries now waiting for the next focus Six hundred rifles. Only two factory are uh, not producing. We are building military factory. Election January nineteen thirty eight. Let's see what's next. See Greek railways, infrastructure. And privatized government holding and nationalized vital companies. And social liberalism 5%. And this is market liberalism. Take out all and uh, Remove one military factory in central Greece. Add one civilian factory. Well, we don't need that. We need more military and not to us. Uh, Pushka, oh, that's the Serbian language. Oh, well, let's go with that. Pushka M24 Ok, making progress, uh, making better rifles uh, Foreign owned industry Almost half our economy is owned by invest investors in Germany and Austria But after Black Monday many of their Mines and factories have closed down, some because they have become unprofitable, but others because the investors are trying to save money or have gone bankrupt. In either case, many thousands of Greeks have been put out of work. The suggestion is that we should seize their assets, or at least the worst cases, despite the Treaty of Salonika uh, stipulating that we cannot. Sazito, deal with worst cases only. Let's go see it all. Almost recovered from Black Monday. We have taken control of everything. Infrastructure. Full recovery. Mm, that is needed to recover from Black Monday. Let's go with this. I don't want to lose uh, military factories. The German Empire applies harsh sanctions. It had to be done. Oh no, harsh sanctions. This is Greece. Yeah, baby. Down with the Germans. No, oh, they are not close to us yet, so we can play like this. Minus 500 rifles. The death of Panagis to Saudi is hardly unexpected. I'm guessing some old guy.
still can train more divisions, uh, lacking manpower and the uh, lacking infantry equipment. That is one civilian factory. Co-ops of the United Baltic Duchy And this is for war And then we have option Uh, to work with the neighbors or the clear war. Okay, almost done with that. Uh, like 10 more days. And then we can go with uh, uh, take out ones, uh, political power minus 50, change of popularity of syndicalism 3% and monarchy sympathies in Greece will be increased. Coup d'etat in Siam. But we'll get one civilian factory. Well, that's better than losing uh, military factories. 56 days. Production efficiency cap minus 10%, construction speed plus 20%, and daily political power gain plus 0 0.20. I need to train some division to put it there, but uh, that's a. Uh, I would say dangerous move. They got destroyed. They are destroyed, they can't retreat. Or well, if I was the Salonika, so maybe to lose it at the start of war and push Macedonia, connect with Serbia. We'll see how much division I can train later. How many? Okay, Serbia went for Montenegro. Uh, usual stuff. Expanded trade with Romania. Uh, Romania has always been a significant trade partner to our country, and the economic crisis has affected both countries sharply. The Romanian representative in Athena approaches with a new trade deal that would ensure all traffic between our nations. A more trade is always good. Clearly, they can offer a better deal than that. Let's go with more trade, it's always good. Let's be on good terms with uh, Romania. Okay, four factories are working on military factory. I'll pause the game, thank you. Research 20 days, of course, no divisions, uh, usual template, and uh, this one has support artillery, mounting, oh no, this is combination of light tank and infantry division, and we have a uh, Cavalry and Indo China declares independence. No first hour or two are preparation for war. We'll see when the war against Bulgaria is declared. Take out tones, yeah, everything. 
Uh, let's go on board of industry now, 56 days. Construction. Nineteen thirty six still. Let's go with this mechanical computing. Four percent research speed is always good. Support weapons uh, nineteen thirty eight. Uh, Radio, let's go with radio. Oh, we don't have any factories to produce airplanes. Okay, one more war in Asia. Now let's check out the overall map. Oh, we go wait, province has been uh, destroyed. Uh, civil war going on in. Germany East Asia versus Indo China. I'm still waiting on Russia to make a move. One more war in Asia. Sank Federation of Turkestan against the Xian Quick. And uh, a Belgian declaration of independence. Good luck, Belgium. Interim government. The Marshal holds on. Oh, that is for France. Looks like Patan is still in power. Oh, looks like first episode we'll be dealing with Black Monday, focusing on that. Uh, two building slot, one building slot, one building slot. Yeah, great. Uh, give me more building slot. How about some factories with those building slots? That would be helpful. Okay, looks like that military factory will soon be over. And then, uh, yeah, let's go with more rifles. Uh, minus 70. We still need more manpower. Uh, still 1936. Okay, this is uh, a white fighter. Yeah, let's reserve that. Why not? Almost recovered from Black Monday. Yeah, we need to get rid of that. Then uh, start working on my army. Let's see. Almost done. Then advancement in mining. Uh, this is uh, two times 100% research bonus for industry, and this is research bonus for excavation technologies. And then uh, Greek railways begin land reform and full recovery. All manpower, yeah, I know it's all manpower. Come on, build that factory. We have one civilian factory on Crete, also an airfield, and most of a camel sees power in Turkey. Three civilian factories, let's go more military factories. I rejoined the Entente. 
join the rice bar. Oh, we'll, we'll be joining the Balkan Alliance. Take out the Bulgaria. Hugh Long, elected president of the USA. Now let's see what the southerner can do as a president. Every man a king. Yeah, I need to play as a USA one time. Okay, let's see. Ani wins Italian elections. Then three more reforms. Overall victory in Brazil. Okay, now Greek Railways, so let's go with that. Uh, January 1937. Okay, we are done with radio. Now let's go with more industry, 100%. Uh, let's go improve machine tools. So, okay, that's 62 days. Uh, Greek Railway is done. Uh, let's go begin land reform. Research 30 days mechanical computing. Now let's wait for airplane and then improve machine tools. Then we can go with three research. As you can see, three days out of 30 will be saved. Uh, industry concentrate industry 2. Let's go with that. Excavation 1. And now for recovery, let's start, 56 days. Um, May 4th, 1937, Serbia has invited us to send a diplomat to Belgrade to take part in the Belgrade Congress so that we may discuss the political and military situation in the Balkans. Uh, since the victory of Bulgaria in the Belgrade, we have had our eyes on land that is rightfully ours, as does Serbia. This suggests we form a new formal alliance called the Belgrade Pact. Announce our support and you have no interest in their alliance. Of course, we're going to join. And Romania has joined the Belgrade Pact. Ocean Empire declared war on Hungary. We are, we are getting started. Crisis in the Danube. Dutch elections. In the second episode, uh, we'll be going to, well, to war against Bulgaria and the Fourth Balkan War onwards to victory. Political power plus 100 and manpower plus 5000. Looks like the war has started. At the end of this episode, uh, accept. Okay, let's start. And Romania has joined the war. Capture Southern Macedonia, Western Salonica. Four Balkan War together for victory. Okay, making good progress. Excavation.
me always go between this three. Construction. And uh, well, this is the end of this episode. Next episode for Balkan War. Oh, hit that like and subscribe button. Consider supporting the channel to help out building a new PC. A big shout out to Didui, my top donator, and until next time, goodbye.